friends, thanks for joining me today. Today I am super excited to share with you the fairy journal flip through. I only did one craft with me on this journal because I've been focused on getting some other things done that are going on with life, so I haven't been recording as much. But I'm super excited. Let me just show this to you. Uh, I had started with a book, so it's actually an altered book. It's what we'd call an altered book. And it's also, uh, but people are more familiar with the term junk journal. So it's basically an altered book junk journal, if you will. Uh, so I've got the book, like I said, here's the spine. I haven't done uh, the tassel for this yet, but I'm planning on doing one. But it's got a cute little gingham spine, and then the back is the back of the book. Here are the charms that I put on the wax thread, and I have at least one per signature and one or two has two of them. Uh, let's see. So this book was actually a guide to how to make bracelets. So there was an actual hole in the cover of the book and you could see through it and you could see something. Well I stuffed this flower in there. Now this flower was given to me by Dale of Not Too Shabby Chic so I want to give a shout out to Dale. Thank you so much Dale. Well, I am going to go ahead and get into this with you, but I'm going to do it up close so that you can see it. All right, my friends, excuse the legs of my camera. I had to zoom out in order to get all of it in the camera frame. And I mean, she is just barely fitting in. And it's not even that she's that big, honestly. But, uh, you know, she's a book size. If I'm guessing, I, I've just put my ruler away. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> okay, friends, I went and got my ruler. She is eight and a quarter tall by six wide and two and a half deep. Does that make sense? High, wide, and then depth. <laughs> Hopefully that makes sense. At any rate, let's give her a look. So as you can see, I covered the inside of the book with this wonderful gingham fabric. It's not only gingham, but it's like got like this embroidery on it. And then I used this little tiny pocket from a dress that I picked up at the thrift store. And so I took the pocket off the dress and I put this little tag in it that says, this book belongs to. So I popped that right in there. This is the front page of the book. I left it plain, except I added this tab with this gem on it. So here's where we get into uh, the rice paper. So I adhered this rice paper to the book page and then just added some ephemera and a pocket as you can see. Now in this journal, I used some of my eco dye paper and I rarely use it because I don't have a lot of it, but I did. And then I added this rub on uh, sticker here. This is a nice belly band. Now this belly band was gifted to me. I am sorry, I cannot remember who sent that to me, but it's absolutely gorgeous with the sequins and it says fairy cream on it. And I just added some ephemera. This was given to me and this was given to me. And this was either given to me by my friend Carol at Carol's Recrafted Boutique or by Catherine of Created by Catherine. I believe it was one of those two that gifted it to me. Throughout you're gonna see that I had, I had some leftover of the rice paper and it had flowers on it, so I went ahead and made tabs out of them. And you'll see those throughout the journal. All right, this is a pocket obviously, and here's some fairy paper. And this comes from the scrapbook pack, um, Once Upon a Time. Now this is a piece of ephemera that I made. I got the image from, I, I cut out a, I used a book and it was called something about fairies or did fairies really exist, something like that. So I took out all the images from the book but I put this on a card that my friend Carol at Carol's Recrafted Boutique sent me and she had made it with when she was working on her jelly plate and mixed media. So I thought that was pretty cool. The colors were so perfect. Here's a vintage envelope and you guys might remember this cluster. I made this cluster for Embellish With Us. I think this was Embellish With Us Wednesdays and I'll link that to my description box if you're curious about it. A tag that I made from some of the fairy rice paper and then I just put in an old book page. I just thought, you know, to have a little treasure here and there would be sort of fun. And then somebody can do whatever they want with that book page. They can add a picture to it. 
They can add lined paper over top of it so that they can write on it. You can do whatever you want. This is the other side of the envelope and you can see I added some uh, very fine white material and then some scrap fabric here and just a little tag. This was given to me by Soleil and Craft and all the tags in here that I chose to put like a little tab on, I used this fabric exclusively. And that is from that dress that I was telling you about. Guys, let me know in the comments section if you ever want to watch me disassemble a piece of clothing to use in a junk journal. That could be kind of fun. So I just added some of it to my coffee dyed paper. This was a page of the book that I just simply added some of the rice paper images on. Here's a little charm that was given to me by my friend Pam at Pamela's Creations. And I just simply added it to a paper clip. And here's a tab, image from a book, and I just stuffed the pocket with some dyed paper that has butterflies and flowers. I made sure to leave it so you could read all of the poems that are throughout the book. Because there's the way the book goes is there's a fairy, there's a kind of fairy, and then there's a poem about the fairy. And that's how this book is laid out. So I've added this fun paper clip. This was created by my friend Gwen Offit at Gwen Offit Designs. I'll put her link in my description box as well as a discount code. Always a discount code that you can use at Gwen's store is Jovi15 and you get 15% off. So then I've just stuffed some ephemera in here. Oh, look at this pretty paper. I hope that the images will show up. So I coffee dyed it with my doilies. Oh, I don't have it on autofocus, so let me do that. Maybe you can see it now. Anyway, it's a really, it's a very soft pattern, but it's super pretty. So I put this ribbon in here and I added a piece of the dress, but I do want to mention that this ribbon, this colorful ribbon, was given to me by my friend Soleil and Craft. Now I used this paper clip sort of to hold these two pieces of paper in place so they're not flapping around. So you guys saw on Embellishment Wednesday when I made this ephemera here. So what I did was I just stuffed them with tickets on this one. Just sort of a cute little interactive pocket. And then in this one it's the moon shape and I just put the world in there. A little tag of the world. So I thought that was kind of cool. Here is the Almond Blossom Fairy and a little tab here. And here is the center spread of the first signature and then I also added these dangles. Here I put a little rub-on sticker and a tab. So this is another poem. Over on this side I just added a card so it just flips open and it also has a fabric tab and it, this part is lined with the fabric from the dress. Here's a little interactive piece here. Let me scoot this over just a little bit. So this is sort of fun. Uh, I did a craft along when we created this envelope and there's a window here. I just embellished it with tickets, ephemera, and a button. And then inside is this tag that we did in that same video. And so it was a card. Well, like a, just a, it's a, you don't open it, it's just a flat card. Then I layered it with vintage music paper and then I put over that some fairy image rice paper and the flowers have faces. I don't know if you can see that or not. Anyway, I just thought that was pretty cute. And here we have a little fairy in a boat and there's a sheep in the boat too. So we can flip this open. Hopefully you can see both. Yeah. And then there is some paper that you can write on. And here is the beech tree fairy. And on this one, I simply added this beautiful bow that was given to me by my friend Soleil at Soleil and Craft. Whoops. Here's the lilac fairy and I paired her up to some pink coffee dyed paper with a rub-on sticker. Also another rub-on here. Here's the other side of the envelope. You know, I put it in there as if it was a page. So all of this green, uh, well this green trim and this beautiful button with yellow and green was given to me by my friend Catherine at Created by Catherine. And inside we have this tag. This was also given to me by Soleil at Soleil and Craft. 
I did some rice paper on the envelope and we flip it over and we've got uh, a fabric flip but it's the envelope underneath there is the window and you can see through the window and I just did a little embellishing this writing was from the original owner of the envelope and then we can take this tag out and have a look and she's not a fairy but it was kind of cute there's a cat up here in the sky and that's a queen. You know, it's almost a takeoff of Alice in Wonderland now that I look at it, because here's a little girl with a flamingo. Yeah, that, that could be like a little takeoff of Alice in Wonderland. Did I show you this here? No, I didn't. Okay, so I stuffed this in here because there's lines on it and you can write on it. And it's just a piece of vintage bank statement. Here's another piece of, uh, well, it's a card that I made with the fabric and the lace and a beautiful image. And actually, this was a bingo card. And so I altered a bingo card. And I used my gesso and I liked it, but it really covered it up. So next time I might use the clear gesso on something. I, it's funny, I'm, I'm learning how to use these things and I, I didn't want to use the clear because I didn't want it to really interfere with the image. So I don't know, I had to find a happy medium. Just a pretty card that I popped in there for journaling. We have our horizontal belly band, and then we have our ticket to hold the tag in place. Uh, eco dyed paper. Uh, more green trim from my friend created by Catherine. I put a little tag in there. Oops. <laughs> and um, used the fabric for the tag. Here I have a pocket and this fabric, I'm pretty sure, was given to me by my friend Carol at Carol's Recrafted Boutique. And I just added this tag in here and that was given to me by Soleil and Craft. And then I just have some paper that I had dyed. I did ink the edges of that paper as you can see right there. On this side I have a pocket. The fairy doesn't show up as well as I would like her to, but she is there. This is a page that I covered with a napkin and decoupage. Just have a piece of vintage bank statement here that can be written on. And also this nice tag that I made. For this little side pocket, this actually began its life as a belly band that I made, but I decided to use it as a side pocket and I just added on um, the dress was the side that has the buttons on it because it was a little button up in the front. So I took those off and added them here and then I just used this beautiful card and then there's just a piece of paper that can be written on. Here's some eco dye. This one turned out really great. Uh, you can see the leaf print in it really happy look at this I mean really really happy with how that turned out this is the geranium fairy and she simply has a lace tab here with a bulb pin with some little beads on it this is the sweet pea fairies they're so cute so some of my coffee dyed paper in a very rich blue here's a little side tuck spot and a ticket to hold the tag in place again uh, this and this was given to me by my friend Carol at Carol's Recrafted Boutique. She made this when she was working in her mixed media. It's gorgeous, I thought the greens were perfect. And uh, this right here is paper napkin covering a, uh, a book page. Actually, no, that paper napkin was covering the white side of this scrapbook paper. So that's what I did to make sure there was just no plain white papers. Here's another one of the clusters from Embellished With Us Wednesdays. And then here I just put this black and white coloring page in here. I thought that was nice. Keep on smiling. I added ribbon, I mean, I added lace here, but that was also given to me by Soleil and Craft. These beautiful fairy images were gifted to me and I am so sorry. I cannot remember who gifted them to me, but thank you, thank you to you and if you let me know it was you I will be happy to add you to my description box 
This is a little image that I got out of the, the fairy book that I had. It was a different, so this project used two fairy books. <laughs> this is just a quote, and I thought it was just nice to stuff it into the pocket. There's a quote on each side. And then there was this card, and I do believe that that was given to me by Soleil as well. Just a piece of pink coffee dyed paper with some rice paper on it. Nice little doily here in the center, just to add a little splash of color. And then I've got the little um, dangles here that I created using beads. Sorry about the shadows in here right now, guys. I apologize for that. And guys, look what I did. I was adding this, I was adding this sticker, and I didn't take, I didn't rub it all the way and then take the plastic off. So I'll need to do that before I list this in my Etsy shop. That's so funny. I must have gotten interrupted while I was working on it, <laughs> which happens frequently at my house. I seem to be constantly interrupted. So here's another envelope, and then here's this beautiful fairy image given to me by Carol at Carol's Recrafted Boutique. And you can see I laced it up here on the edge. And this is a window envelope, so on this side you can see. And I just added some music paper. And then here is what I stuffed the pockets with. Pretty, right? So I think I had her showing through the window, yeah. And then this one was on this side. So this was also given to me in uh, like a happy mail and I'm not sure if that was Carol or Catherine or someone else. If it was you, please let me know. This right here is just a piece from the fairy book that I disassembled. This was given to me by my friend Carol at Carol's Recrafted Boutique. It's stunning. This is a paper napkin covering the scrapbook paper and this is an image I got from one of the fairy books that I took apart. This is just a pocket, very simple. When you move the stuff out of the way, you can see the poem. And then here are the tags that I made. This one's made out of an index card. Another, this must be the other half of the green eco dyed paper and it also came out just fabulous. I'll need to do that again. So here I have a pocket and then I just had put a tag inside and this was some this is a fairy, she's playing the violin, and the bugs are playing too, and it's so cute, and I got that on Etsy. So this is a beautiful fairy image. I believe Created by Catherine sent that to me, and this is some beautiful stationery that I got at the thrift store. Actually, I forgot to show that on Thrifty Thursday, so I'm showing it to you here. Isn't it beautiful? I love it was quite a nice find at the thrift store. I was very happy with that. So here we are in the third signature, and this is the White Bindweed Fairy. And this is the, I might say this wrong, the Michaelmas Daisy Fairy. Some coffee dyed paper. I love this, this is just different. So on the coffee dyed paper, I put this image of this girl sitting on a dragon. I just, I loved it and I had to add it. This is some dyed paper that I dyed with a tea bag, but it was a certain pomegranate tea. Pomegranate tea will give you blue and purple. So I thought that was kind of cool. Just a nice tag that I made. Now I love this. Um, I took a safety pin. You guys remember when I showed you last week how I uh, put the beads on the safety pins? Well, this time I put just a fabric. I just you know, I used a bunch of my fabric scraps from that dress and just put it on that safety pin and then attached it just like I did the ones with the beads from the last journal. So I've got this tassel here, it's on this paper clip and we just have a nice little spot where we can journal. And I used one of the pieces from Embellish With Us Wednesday. Here is another vintage envelope and it is from uh, December 2nd, 1987. I had just popped some tags in there. This tag was given to me by Soleil and Craft. You'll notice that I did not use my crop a dial, so my point of sharing that is if you do not have one, you don't need one. I simply glued all my fabric taps on, and that's all you have to do. 
some coffee dyed paper just embellished with some fabric. Little uh, fairy over here. Let me scooch this up so everything can be in frame. On this book page, I simply added some of the fabric from the dress that I used. Just added some little spot for journaling. This is the Blackberry Fairy. This is the Wayfaring Tree Fairy. Very simple tag that I made using the rice paper. Just popped it here into this pocket, which also has a fairy on it. This too is napkin that I decoupaged onto the opposite side of plain, ah, I was gonna say plain scrapbook paper, but no, it was this calendar page. So here's a tag, and this was also given to me by Soleil of Soleil and Craft. And then here's the calendar page. How perfect is it? These little cuties are fairies. They have little fairy wings, and I just thought it was just so cute and perfect for this journal. And so I added some bead dangles here in colors that match this page. I used a lot of my gold gilding paste throughout this journal. I loved it. So here's a little bit more of a dramatic. This is the other side of the scrap um, calendar and I used the napkin again. And then I'm gonna remove this tag. I made this with the rice paper, uh, but this I made with some uh, velvet and then some eyelash trim and then this center piece, it was an old piece of jewelry. And I think I made that for a collaboration. I can't remember which one. It could have been embellished with us Wednesday, but it could have been a different one too. Added the bottom tab here with a little gem. Over here we just have a pocket with a butterfly on it. Oh, I love this. All right, so here's the poem and then here's our fabric tab. But this was a piece of paper in a Disney uh, like sort of notebook or something that I picked up from the thrift store. And I just think the colors are perfect. Another one of those rice, I almost said rice cake fairies. <laughs> I must be hungry. Uh, rice paper fairies. And I got those, all of the rice paper stuff I got off of Etsy. And I just embellished it, very simple embellishment, a puffy butterfly. This is the Old Man's Beard Fairy, it's called. And I just added a nice lacy little tab here. This is the Winter Jasmine Fairy. Some pink coffee dyed paper. This is the other side of the envelope. And I just put a little napkin on there and a little uh, flower image with a butterfly. And I will take out both tabs at the same time and show them to you. So this one was just a stamp of a fairy. And here it says Fairy Princess. And that's on an index card. And then this one is just another rice paper fairy with a yellow tab. Like I mentioned, I didn't use my eyelets or my crocodile or anything like that. I just simply glued them. So if you don't have equipment like that, you can still have the same effect. And I didn't use it in this one. I wanted this journal to have a very textural feel, um, a very free feel. Um, nothing too cookie cutter, if you will. And I think by just adding the fabric straight to the paper, it gives it more of that feeling. Lace here, fabric here. Over here, I have created this side pocket out of one of those large butterflies that you get at the Dollar Tree and the butterfly packets. And then here's a little fairy image and it's like the tag stopper to keep it from falling out. This is just some scrapbook paper that I embellished. This was gifted to me in Happy Mail. We've got a nice shiny flat back there and you can just open it up and journal in that as you would like to. This is the other side of that butterfly and it perfectly holds this image in there. This is the other side of the tea dyed paper. And then here's some of my blue coffee dyed paper. Here is one of the poems. It's the Song of the Winter Jasmine Fairy. This last page, this was originally going to be a belly band, but I turned it into a side pocket and I just simply stuffed it with this fairy image. This was also rice paper. 
and then this nice little coloring page. And you could journal on one side, color and doodle on the other side. And then here is the last page of the book. And here is the inside. This is a hidden spine journal. I have signed it and I'm gonna add a tassel to this most likely or I'm going to decorate the spine, but I haven't decided yet. But by the time it goes into my Etsy shop, that will be done and there will be pictures of that for you. So friends, thanks for watching. See you soon.